Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com and ElectronicLessons.com. Today I want to talk to you about non-inverting operational amplifier circuits. And the reason why we're talking about this today is because I'm coming out with a project board that has 20 plus projects on it. And the operational amplifier is one of the key elements to this. So what I'll be doing is I'll be making tutorials about different blocks of this uh, learning board so that you understand the theory about each block before you do the experiment. Anyhow, you might notice that there is a positive symbol on one input, a negative on the other, and then this is your output. And between the output and the negative input, there is a, a feedback resistor labeled RF. There is also a, uh, another resistor pulled to ground between the negative input. And the, the amplification is determined by these two resistors. Our gain uh, is determined by this formula. RF, the value of RF over RA, plus 1. So let's give some examples. I've given RF, the feedback resistor, a value of 5 kilo ohms, 5,000 ohms. I've given RA a value of 1 kilo ohms, so 1,000 ohms. So our gain is 5K over 1K, which is 5, plus 1, equals 6. And so our gain factor is 6. So if we had 500 millivolts, at the input, our output output would be uh, our output would be our input multiplied by a factor of six. So 500 millivolts, half a volt times six is three volts. So let's go through a table uh, of of uh, of different gains versus input and output voltage, just so you get a better understanding of how this works. As you can see, I've made a table and I've included our gain formula and our uh, output voltage formula. Now, in many textbooks and in school, you'll t they'll likely tell you that the, the term for, for gain is actually AV, but we're just going to put gain for the sake of, of um, sim simplifying things. So in the case of uh, our first example, our VN, uh, our voltage at our positive input is 1 volt. Our RA value is two vo 2K, 2,000 ohms. RF is 10,000 ohms, 10K. Uh, our gain is 6 because 10 divided by 2 plus 1 is 6. Uh, same as our other circuit, only in our circuit we just we just uh, discussed, RF was 5K, RA was 2K, so half and half. So uh, 5 divided by 1 plus 1 is 6. Anyhow, so our output is determined by multiplying the input voltage by our gain, which is 6 volts. So again, steps in, steps in finding out our output voltage uh, is, is based on two easy steps. Determine your RA and RF what your input voltage is, then determine your gain, then determine your V-out. So uh, what I will do is I will write down a value for RA and RF, and once I've done that, you pause it and determine your gain, then determine your output voltage. So our input voltage will be 0 0.25 volts. Our RA will be 5K, and our RF will be 25K. Pause the video, and determine gain and output voltage. Ain't I a stinker? Still have a gain of 6. 25k divided by 5k is 5 plus 1 is 6, and our output voltage is 1.5 volts. 0 0.25 volts times 6 is 1.5 volts. So, let's try it one more time. We got an input voltage of 0 0.1 volts. We've got an RA of 1K, an RF of 50K. Pause it and uh, determine your gain and output voltage. If you got 51 for gain and a V out of 5.1 volts, you're right. 50K times 1K, or really 50. 50 over 1, 50 plus 1 is 51, 51 times 0 0.1 volts is 5.1 volts. Now, I'm going to stop the video, we're going to go back to our circuit, and we're just going to discuss another element to this. What we didn't talk about before was the power supply for our chip. All operation amplifier circuits and ICs require a VCC to power the chip, and of course it has to, the chip also has to have at least one DC ground port. So what happens if we have a V in uh, and a gain that pushes the boundary over top of our VCC? 
So in, in which case, let's say we have a VCC, a power supply, V plus of 5 volts. We've got an input voltage of 2 volts. We've got a gain of 10. We would want to see 20 volts of the output, but what would happen was would be that the output would be would be saturated to whatever VCC was. So if we had what we expected to be 20 volts out and our VCC, our V plus, was 5 volts, then we would saturate the, we would saturate the output. The output would go to as high as possible, which is the V plus value. So let's add that to our table. Okay, so here what I want you to do is look at the values I've given you and determine your gain and your output voltage. Uh, so pause it. We've got one pull volt of the input, RA is 1K, 1000, RF is 20,000. Determine your gain and your output. Now, your VCC, your V+, plus, a new element I've added to the table, is 10 volts. Please keep that in mind. Pause it now. The output would be 21 volts if the op amp had a VCC of 21 volts. And some op amps can actually have a VCC of, of, uh, 21, uh, of more than 21 volts. Uh, but most of them you keep them down a little bit lower than that. So again, because 21 times 1 volts is 21 volts, but we only have uh, 10 volts power uh, supplying the circuit, we would see 10 volts of the output are just under 10 volts. So let's actually go to the lab section. I've got a, uh, I've got a, uh, a device hooked up and ready to go in uh, non-inverting mode. I'm going to give you the variables and we'll see what we expect at the output. My power supply for the circuit, my VCC, is roughly 12 volts. Uh, RF is 5.1K. RA is 1K. Our input voltage is 1.25 volts. What should our output voltage be? Based on my calculation, 5K, 5.1K over 1K is 5.1 plus 1 is 6.1. Multiply that by 1.25 volts, and you should get 6.725 volts. Now, I bet you we won't see exactly that, and I'll tell you why after we measure the output voltage, which is on pin 1. 7.77 volts. So we are off by a little bit, and the reason for that is because I'm using 5% tolerance resistors, meaning that the resistor's values can be off by plus, uh, plus minus 5%. But we're still pretty close. You, if you use... 1% uh, tolerance resistors, we would get much closer to our, our goal. Anyhow, I'm going to be using the LM324 quad op amp circuit, and I'm going to show you the pinout. The LM324 has 14 pins, and it's got four operational amplifiers inside. So, this is what the chip looks like from a bird's eye view. Um, there's a notch on the left hand side, which is an indicator of where pin 1 is. Just below the notch indicator on the left is pin 1. Pin 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. As you can see, I've labeled the four outer pins. Pins 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, is our V+. Plus. That should be a plus, not a VT, sorry. So we can add, let's say, for fun, 10 volts there. Ground has to be to our supply ground, so... Um, if you don't have your circuit grounded to your power supply, then your circuit will not work. So your op amps are located in, the, in all four quadrants. This is your first op amp, second on pins 5, 6, 7. Uh, 8, 9, 10 comprises your, uh, is, uh, your third op amp, and pins uh, 12, 13, 14 is your fourth op amp. So how I've labeled it is uh, X is output, so pins 1, 7, 8, and 14 are your outputs. Uh, your, neg your minus symbols right here are your negative inputs. And your plus ports are your positive inputs. So in the case of this op amp, X1 is pin 1. Output 1 is pin 1. Negative 1. Uh, the negative input to your first op amp is pin 2. Negative 1, pin 2. And... Uh, plus 1, which is our positive input to our first op amp, is pin 3. So let me show you how you configure this for uh, an, amp uh, uh, an amplifier circuit. So we're not using the second, third, or fourth op amp. We've connected uh, pin 11 to ground and pin 4 to 10 volts. So our chip is now supplied with power.
it is operating. Our operational amplifier is operating. And we've got a circuit here. So this is our RA circuit and our RF, or sorry, our RA resistor and RF resistor. So our gain would be 2K, 2000, divided by 1000 is 2 plus 1, so our gain is 3. Our VIN is 1 volt, 1 volt multiplied by a gain of 3. Our V out is 3 volts. Now again, the the higher the lower the tolerance on the resistors, the more precise your output is. You can if you use 5% uh 5% tolerance resistors, you might have a little bit of variance, but usually not a very big deal. So that is our introduction to uh non-inverting operational amplifiers. I'll also be making a video uh, on comparators and inverting operational amplifiers. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please feel free to share and subscribe. And uh, have a great day, everyone.